So we have a leopard gecko here. He's fairly juvenile and he presented today for um, his hemipenes being prolapsed. So this should not be on the outside. And if you look closely, you can see that he has some retained shed on his toes. And so we are going to be doing um, some soaks here and trying to see if we can get this prolapse to get back in where it belongs. So certainly your penis should not be on the outside of your body. And so we talked to mom about correcting some husbandry. So when we have retained shed, that's almost always a moisture problem for these guys. And unfortunately it can result in the loss of these limbs because it acts like a tourniquet. So when we have retained shed, we know we have problems that we need to correct. So what I'm doing here is we have some warm saline and I'm just going to kind of moisten this hemipenes. And certainly you can imagine it's a little delicate and we're going to place some um, sugar on here to try to remove some of this fluid and see if we can get this to go back into the body with a little bit of gentle pressure, which I think we should be able to accomplish here, but we're going to need a little bit more time. Um, and just gentle manipulation and a little bit of pressure here. And we can see we've got some dead dried skin on here because again, this has been hanging out. This gecko is housed on proper um, media. We don't wanna have these guys on sand because that dries them out and we can see a lot more of these issues with sand as well. So we're just gonna to continue to apply pressure here and see if we can get this thing to, to safely go back in. So we got this guy's hemipane back in. You can see we've got sugar caked around his area here and hopefully this will stay in. I did some soaks and we removed some of the shed. There's still some more to remove, but I don't want to take any more off at this moment. So this is looking good.